Jane. I'm the nurse. I'm one of the doctors from the emergency department and David's one of our nurses. How's your chest pain now? It's actually feeling fine. The state government's been trialling this virtual triage system at Fiona Stanley Hospital to ease pressure on the overstretched ED. During the first month of the trial, was successful in diverting or reducing ambulance ramping for those patients it preferred up to 28%. Following early success, it'll be extended to Rockingham General Hospital and Peel Health Campus as part of a $100 million emergency department support package, which also includes 50 additional staff in EDs. But the plan comes with scant details of how or when those staff will be employed. Yeah, when you think of how many emergency departments there are throughout the states, um, especially in the regional areas, the difficulty they have in, in getting staff out there, I suspect 50 is, is uh, not going to be even approaching the ballpark. The ED spend includes $61.6 million on mental health support. That's been welcomed by the sector, but it's also pointed out that most of the spending is on election commitments. We're still looking forward to increases in prevention spending as a relative proportion of the mental health budget. This 10-year plan says that we need to be spending 5% of our mental health budget on prevention. We're currently only at 1%, so we really are wanting to see that gap close. The new health funding also includes $3.6 million to plan for a new emergency department at Royal Perth Hospital, but there's no time frame yet on when that would be built. Rhiannon Shine, ABC News.